Since the dawn of time, eggs were on the menu. Dinosaurs ate eggs, and early man did as well. Hunter and gatherers found eggs from birds and reptiles and ate them as a source of protein and energy. I'm your personal chef, Mike Moses, and today I'll show you how to prepare the perfect food in three ways. Let's get cracking right now. In researching the egg, I was overwhelmed by all the dates and times that eggs were used. Documented use was as far back as 6000 BC in China. For North America, the first domesticated fowl reached our shores with Columbus's second voyage in 1493. Farming of the prolific chicken made eggs part of the North American diet since it did not affect the chicken's reproductive cycle. Eggs will also keep unrefrigerated for a week or so. The trick to telling if an egg was good was to put it in a pitcher of water. If it sank, the egg was good. If it floated, it was considered rotten. Today, our eggs are picked up at the grocery store or local farmer's market and have the best before date usually stamped on them. This eliminates the guesswork. There are many, many, many uses for eggs, but today I'll keep it simple. We'll make the perfect hard boiled egg, an over easy egg, and a light and fluffy scrambled egg. Here's what we need. Five fresh eggs, two teaspoons of butter, salt and pepper, and a timer. Now that we have everything ready, it's time to cook. I'm not sure why they call this a hard boiled egg, because we actually soft boil it until it's cooked all the way through. First, put your egg in the pot. Then, place the pot on the burner and cover with cold water to about an inch over the egg. Turn on the heat to medium-high, about 180 degrees Celsius, and let the pot come up to a fast simmer. In other words, steam and lots of little bubbles. Now you can remove the pot from the heat, cover it, and let it sit for 10 to 12 minutes. Once your time is up, place the pot under running cold water. This stops the cooking process and cools down the egg so you can handle it. Now that we can handle the cooled egg, let's peel it. Tap the egg gently on some paper towel, cracking the shell all over. Then peel off the shell. And here is a perfect hard boiled egg. Nice clean egg white and a gorgeous yellow yolk. Okay, now to fry an over easy egg. If you like the yolk runny or stiff, the preference is up to you. But a runny yolk lifts the flavor and texture of the rest of your meal to new heights. So let's put the frying pan on medium-high heat. While the frying pan is heating up, crack the egg on the counter and split the shell in a small bowl. This way you don't have a chance of getting shells in the frying pan. Now, we add one teaspoon of butter to the frying pan and move it around to cover the bottom. The butter should be bubbling before we add the egg. One thing we do not want is burnt butter. This is an indication that the pan is too hot. Now, we add the egg. We don't touch the egg at this point in time because we want it to develop a crust on the bottom and keep everything in place. You can be daring and flip the egg after about two minutes, but I have an easier way. After the two minute mark, put a tight lid on the frying pan, turn off the heat, and in one minute, you'll have a soft, runny, over easy egg. Two minutes, a soft, but not runny, medium over easy egg, and three minutes, a well done, over easy egg. Our soft, over easy egg is ready for serving. Fantastic with a little salt and pepper and some toast for dipping in the yolk. The final preparation in this episode is a perfect scrambled egg. This is an homage to the egg. No extra cream, salmon, chives, water, or cheese. Just the honest to goodness flavor of a light, fluffy, and moist scrambled egg. We're going to put a nonstick frying pan on the heat. Again, medium high or about 180 degrees. While the frying pan is heating up, crack the eggs on the counter and split the shell in a small bowl. Now, we add one teaspoon of butter to the frying pan and move it around with a spatula to cover the bottom. With the eggs in a bowl, gently beat them until the yolks are broken and incorporated into whites. 
We do not want a solid yellow mixture here, just the oaks broken and mixed in for some yellow strings and white strings. Then add the mixture to the frying pan. The secret of this technique is to always have the eggs moving in the pan and controlling the heat. After about a minute of stirring, remove the pan from the heat and continue stirring. Then place the pan back on the heat and continue stirring for about another minute. You might have to do this three or four times depending on the number of eggs you have or your stove's temperature. You'll know when they are finished when all the liquid appears to have been cooked off. To keep these eggs as intended, they must be served right away. If they are left too long in the pot, they will overcook and become dry. And there we have three ways to cook your eggs to perfection. The perfect hard boiled egg, the awesome over easy egg, and the light fluffy scrambled egg. If you like 